Hello gliders and welcome to my channel. Today, we are going to analyze a flight in one of the most iconic and beautiful places for gliding in Europe. I am talking about Santoban. Santoban is one of the best places for gliding in mountain in the world. You will have the best instructors, very good planes and a really nice weather. When taking off from Santoban, one of the most typical flights is starting from Pilon. This little mountain you can see here. After Pilon, you will go to Colette, all this rift until you arrive to Vamouche. After Vamouche, you will go to Autonne and Orivo, two parallel mountains that will allow you to continue with the task. After Orivo, you will go to Blayal, the last mountain before jumping to Le Parcours. Once you are at Blayal, you are in the last frontier before crossing to the Parcours. Le Parcours is one of the most iconic mountains in the South Alps, but before arriving to Le Parcours, you will have to do a big jump. You will need to arrive to Le Parcours at the stone area. If you go too low in the green area, you can be in trouble. After arriving to Le Parcours, you will go left to Dormilleuse. In that position, you will have a really nice side scene of the area where you can see this beautiful lake. The next step of the task will be going back along all the rifts of Parcours to Col du Caduc. Once you are here, you will have to focus on Le Cheval Blanc, one of the most easy to identify mountains in the South Alps. Once you are in Le Cheval Blanc, if you are at the top of the mountain, you will have enough altitude to come back home to Santoban all along the valley. Now we know the place, let's go fly! Just after the takeoff, the cumulus were very good. The weather was promising. The task will consist in taking off from Santoban and starting from Vamus. After Vamus, I will go to Blayal and I will continue with Dormillus. After Dormillus, I will go to the southeast to Col du Caduc. After Col du Caduc, the task will continue to Le Cheval Blanc and then Instead of coming back to Santoban, I will go south to Lac Saint Croix. The task will finish coming back to Santoban. After playing around to feel the weather of the day, it was time to start the task. Having enough altitude for the jump, I forgot about Oton and Orivo and I went directly to Blayal. Jumping from Bamus to Blayal, I flew below a very good street of clouds. Just turning a bit in a thermal, I had enough altitude to continue to Le Parcours. Flying just below the clouds, I could maintain my altitude. I arrived to Le Parcours at the stone area, with enough energy to continue the task. After reaching Dormilleuse, I will fly Le Parcours in the opposite direction. Before 
before reaching Col Yucatuc, the base of the clouds was very low, but if you could fly just below the clouds, you will have some lift. And here we are, in Le Cheval Blanc, one of the most iconic mountains in the south of the Alps. In my way to the south, I found a lot of clouds. And here we are, in the Lac Saint Croix, the last turn point of the task. Now I will have a long final glide to Santoban. <laughs> 